campus held at Southside High School uh, June, well, the last day is the 15th, week of the 15th, okay? Okay, we began this camp with our stance. We looked at our stance. We had a sugar foot stance, which is uh, characterized by one leg that is leading or lead leg stance. The lead knee is directly over the lead toes, lead shoulders over the lead knee. Notice that my chest, it's not, it's not being advertised, it's down. My lead arm blocks the lead leg, the other arm is back. My chin is up. Notice in particular my legs open in the direction of the shot. It's not twisted. It's not over here. It's here. Got it? Here's our stance. The next stance is the square stance, in which both feet are on the same lateral level. The knees are over here. Toes, elbows are in, chin is up. And again, you're not opening your chest. Your chest is down. Okay. First thing we looked at, well, after that, we looked at level changing. So we're in our stance. And what we're going to do, we're going to change our level. Changing your level has everything to do with the level of your hips, nothing to do with the level of the shoulders. What I'm doing here, I'm squatting down until my lagging hand touches the mat, and I'm on it. And I'll come up just a little. What I'm trying to do is get the opponent to match my level. If I go down, he goes down, I come up, he comes up. If I change and he does not change, then he is open for a shot. Yeah. That's what level change in sport we do. But that's it. The very first thing we looked at is an ankle single. So I'm in my stance, he's in the stance, and I'm at a distance where if I extend my lead arm, I can barely touch him and I'm in front of the leg that I'm attacking. I'm going to change my level, so when I'm under him, I'm going to drive down to my lead knee, my lead hand, and post at the same time. That stops me from running into his leg. Form is down, I catch his heel, my head goes to the inside of his knee. Now he's been a good drill, but he's circling me to his left, he places his chest on my back, and what I'm going to execute here is called the head post finish. I block his thigh, I pull his foot in, up, Tripod up, I circle around, I lay my arm behind this leg. And here's my take. Head post finish. Our next finish off with an ankle single again. We're going to hit an ankle single. Our head is going to go behind this leg. We're in deep. We're deep in on the leg. Our head is behind this leg. Once we're in, we're going to straighten our back up. So now this weight is off of us so we can pick up a knee. If we pick up our right knee, then we circle to the left. Keep the knee up and we look for a double from behind. We step up with our left, we step out, and we circle into the opponent. In our free arm, we reach around the leg, we execute a wizard, we keep turning his leg until we're behind him, behind him, and we execute a double from behind also. We also looked at, again, the squat from Jim. We're in, and the opponent locks in our crotch. So now we reach over, we block his. His calf, and we grab his shoe, and we drive to our inside hip, in this case, which is our right hip. And we stand the ball. We release the initial leg that we attack, and we pull the bottom foot in. We step over, we hook it, pull it back. Now we clear his leg off of our head by pushing, turn, pull the foot, push the heel, pull the leg off. Now we reach down on our crotch with both arms and reach over the bottom. And we keep our leg right up in a turn and cross face. We looked at different ways of setting up our ankles. See. One way of setting up an ankle, easiest, we from a tie up, we just snap him down, and his reaction is to come up. He comes up, we change our level, and we're in. Another way of executing our ankle, we're in close than we normally would be, that's simply because we're not attacking the lead leg. We change our level, we pulse our hand off the foot, he pulls it back, 
You would take the back leg. There are times when your opponent will be in a square stance, in which case we're going to execute a double ankle. We're going to line up directly in front of them and bisect his body. I don't want to be on one side or the other, I want to be in the center. I change my level, I drive into both forearms and catch his heels. I drive through. We looked at executing the ankle by setting up his, his, his motion. He's moving, he's just moving. And everyone moves after they stop moving, they move with a certain rhythm. He moves, and I predict just where he's going to be, when he's going to be there. Then one, two, one, two, one, two. I know there's, when I know he's going to be at a particular place, I change my level, and I'm in. Here's my shot. Yeah. Remember, an executing an ankle single is always change your level, then penetrate. You're not diving, you're not here. You're changing under, and then you're penetrating. Really simple. We looked at also, we're in close, and all our motion is toward the lead leg. Here, we want him to believe the shot is to his lead leg. So when we take the shot, we know he's going to move it. We keep going straight in, we catch the back leg. We also looked at a misdirection angle. Most guys that you can wrestle are going to lead right. We're going to purposely lead left, and we'll back off of them. We're going to take a big step in with our right foot and reach to the mat with our right hand. He's going to move that leg because he thinks I'm attacking it. I'm going to bring my left knee forward. Form is down. And this was shot. We get it again. One, two. Another setup for well, misdirection, we didn't do it, but I'll show it anyway. I'm in my lead leg stance. I'm going to cross step to my left foot and step across my right toward his back leg and reach for the mat. Step out. He thinks I was shooting here, but the shot is really on this side. Now, we looked at different setups, and each of those setups are, uh, can be used to execute an ankle single. So we looked at two on ones. Tim take off a two on one. I pull my arm back, he changes level. Here's his ankle. Cross ankle. Okay? I'm tied up tight. He passes by, he changes level. Here's his ankle. Got it? He grabs my wrist, he drags, go behind the arm drag. There's an ankle. We use those same setups to execute our ankle seam. The next technique we looked at is a high crotch. Okay. High crotch, we looked at the easiest case. Your opponent has a collar tie, you have an elbow tie. Okay. Leaning right, he takes a small step with his lead leg. He changes his level, so he's focusing on pulling the elbow hard, reaching up my crotch, there, and he steps. Now he pivots his foot around. Notice he is not in front of me, he's on my side. Notice his left arm is deep. He's holding my leg with his arm, not with his hand. His head is up, and he changes off to his double. There. Now, to complete his double, he steps across and around. Notice how he's blocking my leg with his right leg. There's his technique. Cross, cross, Okay. And we looked at all the finishes from that high crotch. The high crotch, and the first thing he's going to do is block our arm. To block the arm, note that he turns the thumb facing the opponent. His palm faces himself, and he pushes the arm into his thigh, and he's bent over. Now, it's difficult for the opponent to change off to a double. So first thing he's going to do is circle, pivot, circle, then change the direction on his arm. Now he can change off. 
Okay. The next thing that he can do is that on this high crotch, he has his arm blocked right here. He can extend on this block to block the far leg. Now he's going to bump with his head and move to the right. The next thing we look at doing, the high crotch, he blocks the arm. We're going to hook his heel with our left ankle. Now from here, we start applying pressure. He starts going back, change off. There's your belt. High crotch again. We can reach across, we can block. Here, we reach in front. Now we're driving across, pulling this leg in. Here, pull it into your chest, keep your hips up. Step over, hook it, turn. Here. We worked on a crack down. Right here, we lift our chest up just a little and we pull his foot through our crotch. We drop our shoulder into his little thigh. We step over with our right leg and then we lay on his leg on our right side from here. And the drill partner, he's coming on pit, locking his head, keeping the arm post, keeping his knee up right here. Now, what we're doing to finish this, we're going to push with our left hand. We'll push our left foot, got it? Lift the ankle and step over to the right. To the right. And we stay on our knees. Crack down. Excuse my high crotch and your opponent, we're getting back up. The opponent cross faces and he circles to his left and tries to grab the ankle. Circle, circle. You know, we reach back, we grab his wrist from behind, pull it around our waist. Now, our right arm reach for the back leg and we drop our left knee and go to our penis. Cross face circle. Got it. One behind. Ankle. There's our Peterson. Reach back. And grab the hand. Pull it around the waist. Mm -hmm. Get it on. We on a high crotch again. Now we looked at defending a high crotch. He has an arm block. We cut the back and we block his arm. We take our free arm, we reach over his back, reach in the crotch. Now we pick our right foot up, kick it through, sit to our hip. The hits the mat, we step over, hook the ankle, left arm up, up his crotch, left arm up his crotch, come up to our right knee. Here we're going to take him. We look at a more efficient method. He gets in the same position. We cut his armpit, the back of our arm is on his head. Like his neck, we turn our right foot and we sit to our right hip. We pull it right over our thigh and we scoop. We hook his ankle, same manner, we walk his crotch from behind, come up to the knee. Here's our take down. We also look at what happens if you're doing the same thing, uh, Tim. Uh, 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 our crotch, we block the arm, we sit. Right here. Now he's going to drop his right hip, drop your right hip, and he keeps his knees together, feet apart. Yeah. Now he's going to push the leg away and back up into the other leg. Here, create space. Now he lifts the leg over his head, ducks his head under. Now he turns into it. He turns back to his left. He looks for his double. I don't want Uh, we also looked at from a high crotch, 
Actually, not crunch. We're on a high crotch. Now, we crack him down, and we reposition our shoulders such that inside shoulders right behind his, his knee. So we slide back, our shoulders slide right behind the knee. And notice, no matter what he does, the opponent head will be over our shoulder. We step back with our, with our left leg, step back, reach back with our arm, and drive into it, high leg over, and head comes out. There's our cradle. wrist, over, down, note that my elbows are in, I'm not pulling out, under, over, down, through, I clear his arm, under, over, down, now I'm clearing his elbow, get it out of the way, notice that his body is open, there's times when you drag the elbow, there's other times when you drag his armpit, depending upon what you plan on doing with it, here, I'm planning on executing the shot, so I need his arm out of the way, and it's one, he's open, step, there's your double. Right now, we're going to look at just going behind him. So I need to get his arm out the way. Over, under, down, drag, step beside his foot, reach around his waist, down behind him. At his wrist, he reaches over, chop, drag. He's right behind me. So now, we look at different ways of dragging. So if I'm controlling his wrist, Tim turns his palm up, he just pulls it down and across. Notice there's no rotation, there's the strength. Yeah. If I'm touching his shoulder, they'll just chop it straight down. There's his drag. Another way, you want to make sure you get your drag, he ties up. Here you have his elbow, you will step in, you grab his knee, and you know he's going to pull it back. And when he does, chop, there's your arm drag again. So we looked at many ways to arm drag. Now we, look, we put the arm drag as a setup to our shot. So we drag, we're just executing a double. No trip. If we grab his wrist, we pull it down and across. We drag the elbow, we lower our level, we put our chest in, and we drive to our knee head. That part. There's our double. Pull down, drag. Okay, so now we're looking at dragging and going to a trip. We drag, notice the back, turn on, turn on, turn on. Notice that his knee is behind the opponent's heel. There's our double. Note also that his foot, he did not hook the leg and try to slide down. He goes immediately directly to his knee. There's our double. Drag, trip. From the drag, some guys did it, some did not. But you can drag and get to the other side of his body. I can drag, dip that knee, come in to your high crotch. That's one thing I forgot on the high crotch. We did do one other thing. We did an outside step high crotch. I mean, close. So instead of drop stepping, what he's going to do is he's going to drop his right knee. And so step with his left foot, with his right knee and left foot hit at the same time. There. Watch it again. Step, there. And from that, we also looked at one other setup from a high crotch. We looked at an underhook. Snap, underhook, with his head by. There. Pull him down and so 
He fights to square up. There's a high call. You go back to your drags. You drag double. You drag double. Now we look at different ways of dragging. I'll leave my right arm touch the side of his head, knowing that he wants to grab it. I'm gonna move it. And he grabs it, and I was moving before he grabs it. Finally, I'm gonna touch and let it sit there a little longer. He's gonna hold it tight. We'll rotate my palm up, pull it across and down. There's my drag. We're just gonna condition him. He touches. Let it sit there, turn your palm up, pull it down, there's your drag. Inside time at his armpit, not in his elbow, not his tricep, armpit. Now we're going to snap on his head and he fights to come up. As he does, we step in, we lower our level, we're pulling him upwards as we penetrate through, shoulder goes all the way through, and as it hit, look him up here and turn, and he's up off the mat. Snap, it comes up, penetrate. Turn up. Good, turn up. Good. Really simple, simple setup. Bottom is a good shot for someone that does not have a quick sprawl. If you have a very quick sprawl, then what we're looking at is a barrel roll. Now, the same line of attack, the same as the farm is a straight hand. But notice, instead of grabbing inside the leg, you grab the outside. Everything else is the same. Now, you sit to your hip, and he goes over. What's great about a barrel roll, the faster he sprawls, the easier the shot. Mm 
So we're dragging set. Thank you. 